Oh, here he is. And we have the Garfield. Garfield's actually here. <laughs> Welcome home, Rep Pack Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest Nickelodeon and the world's biggest SpongeBob collection, both of which are unavailable right now because we are in Indiana. But not just that, the creator of this channel is a huge fan of Paws Incorporated. <laughs> But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Garfield, Indiana, camera flip. Happy birthday, Muncie. You look pretty good for being 150 years old. It's about to get a whole lot brighter at back because your boy is here. And today is going to be an amazing adventure. If you guys haven't watched the last couple of videos, we've been on a little bit of road trip. We started by going to FAO Shorts and also the Nintendo Store in New York. Then we went to the Cartoon Network Hotel in Pennsylvania. And now we are in Indiana. And as you heard by the intro, we are on a Garfield adventure. And if you guys don't know, ever since June 19th, 2020, Garfield has actually been a Nickelodeon property. But where it all started was right here in Indiana, but in particular, Muncie, California. And this is also the hometown of Jim Davis, the creator of Garfield. So today, we are going to be adding something Garfield related to the Comfort Cartoons collection from the creator's hometown in Muncie. And we're also going to go on a little adventure because right over here on the right, you may not be able to see it too well, but over here is actually a visitor center. So at the visitor center, it's pretty much themed around Garfield because he's one of the biggest things to ever come come out of Muncie. Of course, Muncie has a lot of awesome things about it, but Garfield is a phenomenon that's been around for over 40 years. I don't even know, probably 50 years at this point. Ryan put the exact date on screen, but everyone all over the world knows about Garfield. It doesn't matter what country you live in. He's a worldwide phenomenon. They know him everywhere. So the fact that it came from right here, this little town in Indiana is unbelievable. We're going to go on an adventure inside of the visitor center, and I heard that they have a little map for a little tour that we can walk on to find some Garfield statues. So we're going to begin that adventure together. And Anyway, guys, let's head into the visitor center and check it out. So guys, just some clarification in this video. In the last two videos, I did have an employee helping me film at the FAO Shorts video and the Cartoon Network Hotel. I did have family with me. And in this video, I do have a friend with me that is going to be helping me film some of the content. But unfortunately, I do have some family and friends that just aren't comfortable being on camera quite yet. So I hope you guys understand that. And I didn't really explain it in the past two videos because I didn't think anybody was going to really care. But there were a handful of people that were curious so just to clarify if you ever see a random camera person assume it's probably one of my family members or also maybe a friend but not everybody's like Mitchell or Parker that is comfortable like I said being on camera but anyway again guys I love you so much and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video all right so pulling up already guys the visitor center you can see we have a Garfield inside already that is a rideable Garfield this is one of the vintage rideable Garfields in here and look inside of all the stuff that we got going on in there. Looks like we have some Garfield comic books, some Garfield plushies. Who knows if anything's even for sale or if it's just kind of to check it out. But we're going to find out together right now and experience it together. Let's get in there. Okay, so we come in here right at the start. You'll see we have a Garfield here on the wall. And if you guys don't remember, Ryan will put some pictures on screen. In the 80s, these were everywhere. Everywhere. People had these in their car. But this one right here is actually the one that we have in the collection currently. This is the kid robot design. So, it's cool to see the one that we have here right at the start and if we walk on in there we got an awesome little statue of Garfield right there 20 years of me and then we also have the Bob Ross cutout right here as well so checking it out though this is incredible here it is 25 years of Garfield this is awesome and if you look down here it actually has Jim Davis's signature so that is amazing this is the first Garfield we got right here and then we turn around and boom they have like a little Garfield museum along with a bunch of different stuff you can check out so let's go look we got the pamphlet and also this is gonna be our map so we have Where's Garfield? Explore the Garfield statues of Muncie. So we're going to be going around trying to find all the different Garfields because you guys know that's what I came here for. It's going to be so much fun to get to adventure the whole town and also check out the Garfields. So coming you can see we have the Garfield here. We have an Odie one right here. I think we could pick this one up maybe today too if they're available because this one is Odie and we do not have him. But let's get a shot of the whole room right here you guys can see. Let's check it out all together one stop at a time. But let's start at the back here because the light's coming in here. It'll be a little easier to do it this way guys. So starting over on the left side, we have a bunch of Garfield comic books by Kaboom. And we have a few Kaboom comic books, but we don't have a Garfield ones. I think we're going to pick up a Kaboom comic book for sure. You guys can see we have all the different books here, though. You have Cheesy Holiday Special. You have the Summer Special. TV or not TV. Homecoming. I like this one, too. The artwork on them is incredible. I love it so much. We have the Garfield Iron Cat. 
Garfield feeds his face, Garfield weighs in, Garfield souped up, and then we have the sticker mania, which I think this is filled with stickers, but I wanna check this out, foreign language items. So these are all the Garfield comic books in Chinese, I believe. And again, guys, I don't know if you guys can tell me what language this actually is on the front. You guys can help me out, but that is amazing. I wonder if they have this type of thing in English too, because I would love to have this huge collector pack for all of them. But this is our map right here. We'll check this out when we get out, because we have to go through this whole thing. And just like with our Cartoon Network map, we're actually going to be framing this one. I'm going to be hanging it in my house just to kind of commemorate this trip. And the Cartoon Network one, we're going to have them framed and in my hallway in the house. So we have the little map for both of them. Oh, here he is. And we have the Garfield. Garfield's actually here. He's so cute. And everybody here at the Welcome Center has been so kind to us already. Everybody in this whole state of Indiana has been kind to us. Garfield, <laughs> <laughs> there he is right there. Let's go ahead, we'll get a screenshot. Perfect. So we got Garfield right here and this is literally his hometown and we have him right here. We have the whole basically museum and also store we can check out. So we're gonna take a little bit more of a look around here and then we're gonna be in our journey to check out all the Garfields around this entire town and check out the beauty with it as well. And as you guys can see, like they did that just for us to do this video. They did not have to do that. They're so sweet. So thank you so much to everybody here at the Welcome Center if they end up seeing this video. Thank you. But we have some other stuff right here. We have Garfields with Pookie. I feel like this one is so adorable with the little bear. <laughs> I think I need to get this one. I'm not sure. We gotta pick one Garfield in here. We're gonna pick up. I think right now this is gonna be my go-to. It's gonna be hard to probably beat that one. I really like that one. And then over here we have a little section dedicated to Bob Ross as well, which I love. Obviously we're here more for the cartoon themes, but an absolute legend and still a part of my childhood. I'll never forget watching all the different, you know, scenes of him painting and how chill they were. And I would just sit there and watch, even as a kid, not even painting or understanding who he was, but it was just so relaxing that I enjoyed it. So then over here we have some more Garfield books right here we have some cards you can see right here when I say brother I mean friend companion buddy pal all of those things you guys are my friends companions buddies pals family rep pack all the above so you have Garfield left speechless Garfield the big star and then we have a grumpy cat Garfield this is a collaboration book with the grumpy cat and Garfield two of the most famous cats of all time but I think Garfield's a lot more famous than grumpy cat but we love grumpy cat too and his grumpiness and then we have these little ones right here Garfield and Odie and these ones are from 2004, so they're a little bit older here from Kelly Toys. Very, very cute, but still nothing's beating that guy for me right now. We have the third Garfield treasury right here, and then we have the party now, age later. We have Garfield eats his heart out, so I think we have a couple of these books in the collection, but not all of them for sure, so these are all compilation books as well that just go through different Garfield comics that you would have gotten the comic strips and the other different, you know, media. So we have Garfield goes to waste. We have Garfield chews the fat. We have Garfield sits around the house. I like that one. Very relatable. That's why Garfield is amazing, is he's literally what we all wish we could be in life, you know? These fat jokes are wearing thin. <laughs> Then we have Garfield tips the scale, and we have Garfield eats his heart out. Every single one of these, I'm sure, is a treasure of fun. And that's what's so awesome about Garfield. And this is so cool being in here in his hometown. Turning it around, we actually have this Garfield karate costume one. So we're gonna get this one today. Then we have some of the DVDs right here as well, which is so cool because if you're a fan of Garfield, you can actually do writing and grammar, thinking skills, reading and phonics, and then also maths as well. Coming down here, I think this is actually a dog or cat toy. I would get that, but Daisy would probably want to bite it. But nobody bites the guard. <laughs> So over here is a bunch more Garfield compilation books and stuff like that. You can pick these up, but still deciding what I'm going to pick up today. Okay, so then on this side, we have a bunch of different Garfield cards. You have birthday cards, Father's Day card right here. What I love is on all the shirts down here they have for kids, we have Garfield shirts, but they're all on Garfield hangers, which I need these hangers. That is way too cool. His tail is the actual hook. That would be so cool for the closet. I'm very interested in the hangers. I'm pretty sure they're pretty old too. Like, oh yeah, see, 19... 78 to 1981. So these hangers are from the 80s. That's why I'm like these. I've not seen these hangers available anywhere. Others I would have bought them, but they are from the 80s. So that's so cool. There's so many of them here as well. Okay, and I decided what I'm gonna get here for sure is this shirt, and it's Muncie, Indiana, with Garfield leaning on it. That is really cool. Does it have anything on the back? Yes, and it has the actual state of Indiana and where Muncie is on there as well. We're definitely picking one of these up. Okay, but now the big 
guy, the big cat right here. And I have never seen one of these out in the wild. So to be able to see one that's just so clean is unreal. It almost looks like it was never used. And down here at the bottom, you have the Garfield logo on the base too. He's actually on a litter box. I never noticed that it was a litter box until looking at it in person. I just thought it was like a general base, but it's like a litter box in the bottom for Garfield. Super adorable. Let's we'll see if it actually works. I don't know. I don't know if it's plugged in. So we press the start button, but I think it's mostly just for display. An amazing piece to see here. We're gonna pick up the shirt for sure. And then I think we are gonna pick up this Garfield right here. I think this one is just too cute to pass up and he's so big too. So you'll be able to see him if we put him in the background on the shelf, you'll be able to see him in the background. And remember our trip here to Indiana. And a little smaller detail that I noticed in here as well is they actually have the city of Pawnee, which is from a show called Parks and Recreation. And I didn't really think about that. That is true. That show takes place in Indiana as well. So you'll see there's a couple little Parks and Recreation items in here as well, including this mug that says City of Pawnee, Indiana. And then over here, they have a wall of all of the different brochures of different activities you can do here. Of course, today we're focusing on Garfield, but we're definitely gonna take a look and see what other stuff we can do as well. And you guys can see, this is actually the desk right here in the bureau. And you can see the Garfield love goes everywhere, that they love Garfield just as much as we do. Of course, probably even more being that this is the bureau for it. It's amazing to see all the different pieces there. You see Garfield back there with the I Heart Muncie actual bandana on too. So cute. The Garfield love goes deep. Okay, so I just made it out of the visit visitor center right now. We are gonna go on our journey all the way to see all the different Garfield, but they gave us some awesome little gifts as well, just because I was a fan of Garfield. So they were so, so, so sweet to us. So again, shout out to them. Thank you so much for being so kind to us. Now we're gonna begin our journey to find all the different Garfields. Let's do it. So following the map here, you guys can see they have all the different locations for the statues here. Where first one we already checked off, which was at the Bureau. Second one is gonna be the City Hall, which we are actually at right now. So City Hall is right here. It gives you, like I said, a good opportunity to look around the town and also do a little fun adventure. Okay, so we came in downstairs. We had to go through a little security check because this is also where like where the police are. So we had to make sure we had you know, everything was clean. And now we're inside and there he is, Garth Brooks. So we have Garth Brooks right here. It's so cute. These statues are awesome and they're all signed by Jim Davis. If you look closely, they're all signed by Jim Davis. So it's really cool that the ones that are on the actual portfolio, like the little brochure they give you, are all indoors. So I think because they're all indoors, it's good because the signature is gonna stay on there and it keeps them in good shape. But they did mention there was other Garfield statues out there, but we're gonna stick to the ones on the brochure for today because there's so many throughout all of Indiana. And I mean, this is his town, so it should be. But let's get a little screenshot picture next to Garfield. And we're gonna try and do this at every single one of them. Okay, so leaving City Hall, we got Garth Brooks out of the way. That was awesome, <laughs> so fun. And it's cool because you get to, like, like I said, see a little bit of everything as you're doing this adventure. And I don't know what the connection between Garth Brooks and Garth Brooks is. If you guys don't know who Garth Brooks is, well, here it is. But he was actually born in Oklahoma after a little research, so I don't know what the, maybe there's a connection there in some way. You guys know, let me know. But it could just be for fun too, and it definitely was. So let's go ahead and go to the next one and see what his theme is. So the next one we're going to now is a Muncie's Children's Museum where our next Garfield's gonna be at. We got our brochure, so let's go ahead and get in there and check this next one off. So coming on in here, you guys can see this room is huge. And if you look over here, we have Garfields. This is our next Garfield right here. And this is the Fireman Garfield. Learn not to burn the lasagna. Garfield is what we'll call him. That is so awesome. So he's got a whole fireman theme. And it looks like this is a legit fireman's helmet actually on the Garfield too. He's covered an ash too so it totally fits the vibe for him and if you look this one doesn't actually have Jim Davis's signature but it also looks like maybe this one was outside at some point so it may have been like restored slightly in order to bring it inside I'm so glad they started putting them inside because this one is really really fun to see and now that the crying kid is out of the way I mean this is the children's museum so you know the museum of also crying <laughs> So let's go ahead and get our picture with Garfield because what we're gonna do, we're gonna check all of these off and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put all the pictures at the Garfields in a binder to go with it and that's gonna be framed up. So it's gonna make an awesome wall display as well. 
All right, Red Pack. So the next one we're going to is the Red Cross Center or America Red Cross. They have an actual building here. So we're going to go inside and see if we can find the next Garfield. And try and count in this video how many times I say the word Garfield and let me know in the comments. Okay, so this one, we don't even have to go into it because I can actually see it peeking out right here. You guys can kind of see them maybe. Let's go ahead and get closer. Behind this glass, this foggy glass right here is Garfield. And that is a perfect one. So this one right here is the American Red cross Garfield you can see it says American Red Cross right there and it's actually like a nurse Garfield but I don't think it was always a nurse Garfield this one you can see it's some orange paint that's dripping down his leg from maybe when they had to repaint it and you can see there's a very thickly coated on that orange paint on this one so you can see some of these have been outdoors in the past and this one also is missing its Jim Davis signature again probably painted over or just from you know where of being outside but here we have him the nurse Garfield with the American flag outside the American Red Cross. And if you look at it, it actually is very similar to the 25 years of Garfield one. And I just realized that they're all that same statue, but some of them are so well designed that I didn't even realize it was the same statue. But with this one, because all there really is is the hat and the flag, you can definitely tell it's that 25 years of Garfield one. So they're the same statue, You're just kind of dressed up a little bit differently. And some of them do such a good job, you really almost feels like a whole different sculpture. It's a little harder get a picture with this one so let's go ahead and do it let's set it up and the person we met at the visitor center said that the Garfields that they have in their tour are all indoors. Like I said, there's a couple that are outdoors other places. And he seemed very happy about the fact that all of theirs were indoors. I am too, because these things are amazing and you have to treasure them and make sure they're protected. So, I mean, it is hot today <laughs> in Indiana. I'm pretty sure it has a pretty rough winter too. So those things would not survive forever outside, but keeping them indoors like that protected will make it to where we can do journeys like this for a lot longer. So I'm excited we could check off the Red Cross of America Garfield. Let's get to the next Garf. So Continuing on our journey, the next one we've got here is the Cornerstone Center of Arts. Let's see what we have in store for this Garfield. So I'm inside right now. I'm still looking for Garfield. I'm not 100% sure which way to go. Let's go to the information desk and maybe we'll figure it out from there. Okay, so this one took a little while to find, but we found him right here. Cool Cat Garfield. And I gotta say, I think this is one of the best condition ones I think besides the one himself that it was the original one. So we got Cool Cat Garfield right here and it says, Cool Cats wear a mask. I think actually when the pandemic was going on all the Garfields had masks on too so that's really really you know just really interesting you know keeping Garfield relevant but here he is in the flesh Mr. Cool Cat and I gotta say yo yo pa he is a very very cool cat Okay, so this next one, he's not even actually on the tour, so it's a little bonus Garfield. And it says, Paul Glossy. I'm not 100% sure what the theme on this one is, but either way, there's another Garfield we haven't done, so let's do it. Our, I almost said all, all right guys, I was trying to say all right guys, Garf though. Our, all right guys, <laughs> we're at number six now, the Imaging Center, or Imagining Center, I don't know words right now. I'm tired, it's hot. Let's go ahead and go to the next Garfield. Okay, so the Imaging Center, again, I don't know, I think it's Imaging Center. Go ahead and check it out, guys. This fat cat has nine lives. You don't, so get a mammogram. <laughs> That's perfect. This one is in great shape too, and you see it down here, signed by Jim Davis. So let's go ahead and get our snapshot with this one. Okay guys, so checking in with you, we got one more to get halfway through our Garfield check-ins. I'm having a blast and it's a good time. Just enjoying the openness of Indiana, the beauty of the sky and everything going on here. The air feels great out here. We've had a lot of rain recently. Everything looks so clear. I'm really loving my time here in Indiana. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. So this next one is gonna be at the Delaware County Building, which I don't know if Delaware doesn't have their own county building or if it's just in Indiana or are we in Delaware now? I know it's the small state and I also know it's the first state but that's all I know about Delaware <laughs> and I think the people that live here probably don't do this so we're the only ones really doing it right now so I kind of feel a little strange walking into these serious buildings especially the law office and asking hey where's the guard build at but either way you know I'm gonna do it for you guys let's go check it out okay so I gotta say I think this is my favorite Garfield so far we have the American pride Garfield and as an American I can say I'm very very proud of our country so I love this Garfield and I think this is probably my favorite one so far I love it. They got him painted up. It is missing the Jim Davis signature on this one But again, like I said, some of these could have been outside at some point and they got it repainted But this one fits so perfectly in here and it's by all the flags as well, too So so far number one ranking of the Garfield. I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat this one, but we'll find out Let's get our snapshot 
I gotta say, that one hit for me really personally. I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world, but I think that the main thing to talk about is love here today, and that's what Comfort Cartoons is all about. So I think it's always important to show some support to your country, and I think it's really cool that they did the American flag Garfield, and I think that America is an awesome place. It's the land of opportunity, and I wouldn't have this opportunity to be talking to all of you guys if it wasn't for the upbringing that I had here in this country. So I gotta say I love it, and I'm glad that we got that Garfield on the list. But that Garfield did mark our halfway point, so now we are halfway done. We've got seven or eight, if you count the bonus one, of the Garfields. Let's check out the next one. Okay, so earlier we went here to City Hall and we got Garth Brooks, but now we're going over here inside of Star Bank and there apparently is gonna be our next Garfield. The only thing is I said the map probably should have been set up maybe slightly different because we did go with that one and then I had to drive somewhere else. So they probably just made this one like number three or rather than number eight. But either way, let's go ahead and get inside of it. So I came in and asked, I'm just here for Garfield. I don't have any money. I'm just here for Garfield. <laughs> so they told us to go to the third floor. Let's see if we can find Garfield. It could either be a person at the other side of this or Garfield. Either way, I'm going to be happy, but one might be a little embarrassing. Neither of the above. A little disappointing. Let's find him. Oh my God. Goodness, guys, there he is. I said the American one was my favorite, but this is hard to beat too. There he is, it's a disco ball. Garfield, that is a lot of fun. So I don't think we could actually go in there, so we're gonna take a picture from right here. And if you look over here, they actually have a couple of Garfield books here on display as well. Mr. Potato Head, which Ryan, can you pop up on screen? Was Mr. Potato Head made in Indiana? And the little Garfield books, some of which we actually saw at the actual visiting center. But but there he is right there, the man, the legend, the new Cat Kings of Nickelodeon. We have the freaking disco ball Garfield. That was number eight. We still got six more. Let's get to the next one, Rep Pack. And that, that one's gonna be hard to beat. They just keep getting better and better. I don't know how the next one's gonna be, but the last two are gonna be hard to top. So the next stop is in a really beautiful location. You guys can see, like I said, everything is so green right now in Indiana. It looks incredible. And if we keep turning and turning, you might be able to see two little ears sticking out there. Ryan helped them by zooming in there. So let's go ahead and check out that Scarfield. This is number nine on our list. So this one is really cool too, because this is the orchard shop. So right outside the orchard shop, you have some beautiful flowers right here. And then you have a nice little patchwork Garfield here, but all the patches are different things. Things. Like we have a dragonfly right here. We have which looks like the orchard shop itself. Then we have some flowers on this patch. We have a hummingbird on this one. We have a fairy on that one. Of course, you gotta have some vegetables here as well. And then this one right here, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's like something to do with Indiana. I, I'm not sure. Ryan hopefully could help us out with this one too, but really, really fun here. This one is outside, but it does look like they have wheels on it. So maybe they bring it back inside during the day or if it's like a rainy day to keep it in good shape. And this one is missing the Jim Davis signature, but again, could have been painted on already over. But gotta say, this one's in my top three now of the Garfields. All right, so we got to this Garfield, we gotta check it off. So let's go ahead and get our snapshot at this Garfield too. Like I said, guys, I gotta say, this one's my top three. I really love the creative twist that they're putting on the Garfields. It makes it so much more fun. It makes you really want to adventure to each one just to see what they did different with that Garfield that you're gonna see next. So this one, like I said, top three. It looks great next to the flowers. You guys let me know where you would rank this one on your list. So this next one was really off the beaten path. I had to go pretty far out here into the country to get to this one. And this is the actual dog shelter or animal shelter. I'm assuming cats too. So let's go see this Garfield. Hopefully it's something themed around animals, maybe a veterinarian. Well, I mean, he is animal himself, but you know, something, something thematic. But every single location for these Garfields is really beautiful. Like there's so many trees, so much nature, and all of this is very unfamiliar for me, especially somebody in Los Angeles County. It's amazing. And I just really am appreciating it while I'm out here. And they have all this stuff over here for dogs. Like, I mean, the shelters in California are nothing like this. There's all this space out here for the dogs to run. They have a paw print over there. You can see this is where the dogs would normally play. It's so cool, but over here, we have our Garfield and I can already tell this one has been outside so there is a little bit of wear on it either way it is amazing to find the next one and I think this one is I think he's in pajamas and it says saliva lives in my cat's pajamas <laughs> 
Re I'm reading it better now. So it says, saving lives in my cat pajamas. That's so cute. So, you know, it's at an animal shelter, so they are actually saving lives, which shout out to them. That's amazing. And they definitely deserve to have a Garfield here to bring people here and to bring, you know, awareness to this location. So I'm so glad that we got to this Garfield. You can see its natural color under here is kind of like a Garfield yellow, obviously a little bit more dirty now, but they did paint over it. So that's one good thing about this. And as you guys can kind of see the painting process, but this is the same statue, even though you wouldn't really realize it because the designs are so interesting and unique to each location. So let's get our snapshot of this one. Okay guys, I am starting to get real tired. We've been on a journey, but here he is, graduation Garfield. He's got the Ball State University, a medal right here, a gown, and then also the cap. And if you look over here on the side, it also has Odie right here sticking out of his cap and gown. Very cute. <laughs> and this one does still have the Jim Davis signature here on the bottom. And it says graduated right here. <laughs> I went to school in California, but if I would've graduated from here, I would've definitely taken a picture right here with Garfield. All right, next Garfield, let's go. So it seems like you know, sometimes you gotta let 21 Savage talk first. But as we do this journey, we're getting more and more out in the country. And the next one here we have is Garfield number 11, or no, Garfield number 12 actually. <laughs> and it's Motivate Our Minds. So I don't know exactly what this building is, but let's go ahead and check them out. And then we've got two more left. Okay, yeah, so we yeah. got to Garfield number 12, and it is here, <laughs> literacy and lasagna, perfect. So we got them right here, let's get our, our snapshot with them. Okay, so just left that Garfield. I was a little brief in that one because there's people actually working in the building and they were locked up for the day. We got the snapshot with us, what matters. I actually met an awesome associate there that was super kind and they even asked what YouTube channel I had. So I told them Comfort Cartoons. And if you see this video, thank you for being so kind to us. I appreciate it so much. And not just that, he said that he didn't think anybody in this town Muncie would probably go around and do that. So he knew I had to not be from there. <laughs> and I think that's true. I think most people, they would probably just go to one, maybe two, and that might be enough, but you know me. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little bit compulsive, so we had to go to every single one. So let's go ahead. We have two more left. Let's do it. Well, I want to do it, but I'm actually waiting for a train currently that is taking quite some time. And this guy, I think, has way more patience than I do. I think I'm going to try another route. We have one more left after this one. This one is inside of the Barnes & Noble inside of the school, I believe. Let's get it. So this one is titled the Purple Avenger, which is really cool. So it's supposed to be like a like a superhero costume, essentially. So this one was actually designed by kids from third to fifth grade at the YMCA. So I have to say that definitely puts it in my top three. And it has different signatures down here. I think those are probably all the different kids that helped design it. And now, you know, we got to document it here. And you know, those kids' signatures are on here. So hopefully one of those kids watches the video. <laughs> got you right here. Okay, so you guys can see we're here at the last location and there's actually an insurance company, Indiana Farmers Insurance, and it's got Garfield as the actual character branding it, you know? There's no celebrities on the billboards like in California, but well, there is one. In Indiana, they got Garfield on the billboards. I love it. <laughs> we are here at the final Garfield. Let's just give ourselves, as a community, as a group, a round of applause. That was a journey. Very, very tired. It took us about three hours to cover every location. So if you want to go out there and do it it'll probably take you at least two to four hours to get it done but we got to every single one and here we are at the last Garfield and it says uh, I don't know exactly it's a little bit worn down here on the bottom but this is the final one number 14 we can check him off the list let's go ahead and get our picture with the last and final Garfield You need a lot nine lives after that kind of journey. Whew, I almost lost one today from dehydration, but we did it right back. Let's go ahead and head on back to our hotel. We got to go to the visitor's exhibit. We got to meet Garfield number 14. I don't think we could have done anything more here in the home of Garfield. So I think we could check everything off on our brochure, on our map, and we're gonna be able to frame this guy up, put it in my living room, and know that we up to every single location, you and me as a community. So thank you so much for joining me on this journey as always. I appreciate you guys so much. I couldn't have done it without you. So thank Thank you. Anyway, I'll hand you guys to the outro. So it's a different day now. I didn't get the transition from Muncie, but
but I am in a completely different area in Utah right now. Been filming so many different videos for you beautiful peoples. I hope you guys are enjoying this road trip series. And it's definitely inspired me to do some more trips for you guys on this channel. And create a little comfort cartoons of map where we try to check off something from every single state in America. Would be unbelievable to add to the collection. But let's go over everything we got. The Muncie Visiting Center along with what they gave us in the mystery bag. I cannot believe how kind everybody was in Muncie as a whole and especially at the visiting center of the entire road trip I'd say it was one of the kindest towns of all of them so let's check out what we got and I'm really excited to show you what's in the bag so first off we have the shirt right here Muncie Indiana I couldn't leave without getting a shirt from there because it's so cool I mean you can get a million different Garfield shirts but it's very rare you're gonna get one from his hometown by Paws Incorporated and I do feel like this is the older shirt because nowadays it probably would just say Nickelodeon somewhere on here but it all says Paws Incorporated and everything there was pretty old so I'm assuming this shirt's probably been like around for at least 10 years or more and on the back side you have the full state of Indiana and it has a little star where Muncie would be located in the state and then down here we have visitmuncie.org so I think this is a perfect shirt to add to the collection as we do these road trips I kind of want to add some shirts you know to the collection that we can wear on our other road trips just to show that we're very cartoon diverse we're world travelers here and who knows where we'll be able to add next but not just that we got Garfield himself and this is not exclusive to Muncie, Indiana. So I didn't want to pick up too much stuff that wasn't exclusive to there, but I did want to get something really to encapsulate the trip. And this is perfect. The camera really doesn't do justice how big it is, but this is going to look beautiful in the background of the cavern. And you guys will know that it came from his hometown. Anybody that's new to the channel, they might not know, you know, it's just Garfield. But for you guys that have been here from this long and enjoying this series, it's going to be really rewarding, I think, for all of us to be able to see all this stuff in the collection as we continue to add to it. So in Muncie, Delaware, County, which is weird because like, I felt like we were kind of far from Delaware, but I think it's just in between. Like, it's so close that that's why. But, Visiting Bureau, we got this cool bag. But let's check it out. Because they noticed I was such a fan of Garfield and they could sense my enthusiasm, they actually gave me some freebies, which I did not expect at all. So, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love Garfield and I love Muncie even more now that I've been there. So, they gave me this book, which is U.S. Acres Hams It Up, which is one of Jim Davis's original shows that he made. I think they said even predating Garfield and it has a bunch of the different comic strips inside of there I can't wait to read through this my biggest memory of the US acres is from them being in the Garfield and Friends show which for me since I was you know born a little later used to come on like really late in the night and I always was looking forward to getting to see Garfield and I didn't really know what US acres was I just kind of watched it because I thought it was like something that just happened in between Garfield but now that I know more about it I want to learn even more about it and I think it's awesome and then they gave us this pin right here which is a 4th of July Garfield Field. It's kind of hard to see it right now because the lighting, but 4th of July Garfield. And my favorite of all is this one right here. If you guys noticed when we were going through all of the statues, the first one we saw was the 25th anniversary Garfield, which they made all those statues for a festival that they had in 2003 celebrating 25 years of Garfield, which in 2003, I was eight years old. So there was no chance I was going to ever to be able to go to this type of event. So the fact they were able to give me a pen from 2003 is amazing. And you guys know me as a collector I had to like do some research and it's not easy to find those type of pins and as more time goes on it's even harder so I can't wait I know it's not technically Nickelodeon at that time but I don't care I can't wait to add to our pin board in the room so I'm so glad that we got one and I didn't even expect it so thank you again to Muncie Indiana but I know I missed the scan in New York because you know there's only really like one or two items I'm sure maybe Ryan maybe added like a scan of some kind but we do have a couple more items here so you guys know the drill scan it And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys smack that like button. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. There was so much work that went into this video. I had to drive around the entire town, which was worth it, but at the same time, it took a long time, so I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up and also a comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite Garfield statue we got to see on this journey. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys go follow on Whatnot, where I'm gonna be back home very soon, and we do streams every Wednesday and Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern Standard time. So I hope I see you beautiful people there. And again, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. And as always, Rat Pack, I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.